Hi, you guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Grace. If you're new here, welcome. I hope that you enjoy this video and consider sticking around, but you can wait and see. And if you are returning, hey, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Let me just say my hair is looking drank today, so just excuse that. I tried something new with my hair today, and I'm not going to try that again. It did not work out. So well, let's move on from that. Just pretend that my hair looks good. All right, so today's video, we are talking budget. All right, new year. I feel like a lot of us are in our budget girl era, including, hey, me. Mm. So I'm going to make some small changes or, yeah, smallish changes. These shouldn't be super painful, I don't think. Some of them are very relevant to me and then some of them are more relevant to conversations I've had with some other friends. Yeah, hopefully there's like eight of them and I'm going to try and go through them quickly. So I say that every single video, um, but yeah, let's just, let's just jump into it. Okay, so number one, this is one you've probably heard a bajillion times. And depending on where you live in the country or any country, this might have been something that you've made a change years ago, or some of you guys, it's just starting to hit your area. And that is how stores are really, really starting to charge for their bags. Meaning, you know, did you bring your own bags? Oh no, okay, that'll be 10 cents a bag. And 10 cents a bag doesn't seem like a lot, but if you forget to bring reusable bags, every single time. That's really, really going to add up. And I mean, to be honest, I am not mad at stores doing that at all. That's better for the environment. And I have been a reusable bag user for years now. So for me, this isn't a huge deal because I'm kind of already in the habit. But where we just moved in Alabama, places are just kind of starting to do that. And people, oh my gosh, people lose their minds over it. And I hear a lot of people say like, oh, I just forget, including my mom, I forget to put them in, you know, to bring them to the store with me. Well, you probably have enough bags, even if they're not classic, like reusable bags, enough bags that you can use as reusable bags to have them in a couple different places. Have some in your pantry, have some in your car, have some in your garage, have some wherever, you know, you have them in a couple places. And so you're kind of always going to have some nearby. Have them right next to the door that you leave, you know, when you leave your house, just so that you're always going to be reminded. But having reusable bags going to save you some money and it's going to save the planet, which is very important. Okay. Ooh, this one might be a little bit controversial. <laughs> And of course there are exemptions to this rule, but this is something I'm very guilty of. We know that there are new launches in makeup, skincare every other day, basically. That's how it feels. And everything that launches is this new, sudden thing. It's never been done before. It has the most beautiful colors. Blah, 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 blah. And so many of us, myself included, not that you buy every single thing, but you buy makeup and skincare before you need it. You buy a new cleanser before you're done with that other cleanser. You buy a new lipstick or lip gloss before you're done with the other one. So let's try, me too, preaching to the choir here, let's try to be better about using up makeup before repurchasing more. And I know there's going to be times that you buy a product that you don't end up loving too much. And so I'm not saying you have to get through a product that you hate or that looks bad on you before repurchasing. But let's be better about like, okay, that was a waste of money. I'm going to either give it away to someone. I mean, it's depending on how gross, like if it's a mascara, maybe people don't want to share that. But like, okay, you bought a, a lipstick that just did not work with your coloring. I bet you can find someone who would take that off your hands or throw it away. So... Do your best to use up makeup, skincare kind of products, nail polishes, that's another thing, before repurchasing it. And if you do have a product that you really don't care for, part ways with it so it doesn't clutter up your house. When you know deep down, I have a lip gloss right now that I'm thinking of. It was a gift and it's probably expired by now anyway, but I, I like cringe every time I use it. I've been trying to use it because I've been trying to live by this principle, 
but I really don't like it. So I just need to throw it away, you guys. I need to. Oh, this is another controversial one. <laughs> Y'all read the books that you have before buying more. I know this is hard. I know this. I just offended someone. Someone probably just clicked away from this video. But we all have that. Is it TBR? TBR list? To be read list? Our TBR lists are super long. And many of those books you already have. You just haven't read them yet. <laughs> my goal for last year was read all the books on my own bookshelf before purchasing more. Last year I also had um, babies. So I didn't read anything last year. I don't I I think I read one book the entire year. So that did not happen, but that's kind of my goal for this year. Read the books that you have before purchasing more. Go into the library using the Libby app. That's different. Go ahead and utilize those. They're free, but don't go and buy brand new books at Amazon or Barnes and Noble or wherever and spend that kind of money when you have perfectly good books that you want to read already available to you for free. Okay, this is one that does not apply to me right now because I financially haven't been able to do this. But if you are in a place that you are looking for areas to cut costs, this might be painful, but expensive workout classes, you guys. I don't know if you've looked on YouTube. <laughs> You're on YouTube right now, probably. Y'all, there are so many free YouTube videos for every kind of exercising under the sun. Do you want, you know, a dance class? Do you want yoga or Zumba or Pilates or cardio or whatever? You can find it all. And I do understand that there's like a social aspect to workout classes. I get that. So maybe you do have, you know, a community there that you don't want to give up. I do understand that. So you, you can make the judgment for yourself. But workout classes are so expensive, you guys. I have wanted to join them so many times, but I'm like, oh my gosh. And I do also understand there are ones like rock climbing that you obviously can't do from YouTube. I get it. But I'm just saying, if you are looking for ways to cut back on your budget, do you, do you take workout classes? The same could kind of go for just gym membership in general. And I don't, I want you to stay healthy. But I'm just saying that there are so many free, free options. I'm not like a Peloton person, but I've heard so many people say like they bought a Peloton and then to like keep up with the, the subscription is so expensive when you literally could like just get an exercise bike and use YouTube and you'll, you'll, you kind of have the same results, <laughs> but I'm ignorant when it comes to Peloton. So I don't really know. All right, this next one, ooh, I kind of talked about this in uh, my last, like, resolutions video, but that is not giving into viral, or at least every viral social media product. This is specifically if you're on TikTok, probably, but I, I get it when I watch, like, influencers on YouTube, too. There are products that go absolutely viral, and a lot of times they're makeup or skincare or a house cleaning, whatever, I don't know, um, a coffee maker, whatever. And it's very tempting because everyone's raving about these things. But then at the end of the year, I've noticed so many influencers <laughs> have videos about like, these are the viral products that I hated. And there's so many of those like really, really popular products, then people use them for a month and either never used them again or they broke and they were cheap and blah, 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 blah. So just like I gave you permission in that last video, that if you are super susceptible to that kind of marketing and you give in and you're a, an, 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 you are an impulse buyer, I give you permission to unfollow people or delete apps altogether. This is your, this is your permission. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You're welcome. I've unfollowed some people because literally all they ever do is sell, 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 sell. Like they don't share anything. I like influencers that like kind of share their lives a little bit too. Not in a weird way, but like, I don't know. I don't want to feel like every single time I click on your video, all you're doing is trying to sell me stuff. That just feels weird. So I've done it. You can do it too. This is another thing that I kind of talked about in that video as well. And that is the fast fashion stuff, you guys. Fast fashion, fast production, anything. Timu, Shein, Wish. I mean, even being careful with places like Target 
and Old Navy. And I totally understand we're, we're in our budget girl era. I get it. I totally do. I'm not saying, you know, you need to buy everything from free people from now on, or you need to buy everything from Cezanne from now on. I can't afford those things. I can't. But there are some other steps you can take. You can either utilize thrifting uh huh, and not in an obnoxious way, but like literally there are good thrift stores and there are bad thrift stores. So Find a decent thrift store in your area, but also things like ThreadUp. Again, they don't sponsor me. They should. I talk about them all the time. But thrifting is a great option, but also just being more selective on what you purchase. And I, I don't mean that like save up and buy a $250 sweater, but like instead of buying the sweater from Shein that's, you know, $2.99, but it's going to show up and it's going to be actually the size for like an American girl doll and you're just going to throw it away that you totally wasted money or it falls apart after one wash or it smells like uh, dead kittens or something like <coughs> rather than wasting your money on a terrible company like that too, be more selective, buy less. <laughs> I'm talking to myself here too. Um, but yeah, let's just not support terrible companies like that. Um, for me, like, okay, this shirt I'm wearing right now, this is from Target, and it was probably like $8.99, which was a great price. I have worn this thing to death, you guys. I almost threw it away when we made our move because hopefully it's not see-through, but it's getting pretty close because I've worn it and washed it so many times. But I have worn this to death. So you can still purchase, you know, cheaper things, um, or more affordable things, but let's just actually wear them out, you know? I, apparently there's people that like refuse to wear outfits more than once, which is just absolutely insane. And please don't do Shein hauls or Timu hauls, anything like that. Oh my gosh, Ugh, our planet, Ugh, it's dying. All right, this is another one. Food delivery services. I know it's tempting. I hate to cook, it's very tempting. But the amount of extra costs involved in doing food delivery, whether it's the extra taxes or the delivery fees, whatever, the tips, obviously make sure you do tip if, they, if you use a food, food delivery. But food delivery in general is just so expensive. I would suggest if you do, you know, need to get food out, which I totally, we do that all the time. That's another thing. But just go pick it up yourself, you guys. And I know you're like, gas money. Okay, well, the gas money is still going to be less than all the extra fees involved with food delivery. And then you run into all the issues of like, did they take it to the wrong place? Did you get a butthead? I've, I've seen so many TikTok videos of like mean food delivery people. Um, so those exist too. I'm, I'm afraid of them. Um, so yeah, just go pick it up yourself. Last one, and I kind of already touched on this, but just get off social media and unfollow influencers if you are too susceptible to that type of marketing. Those people are salespeople, and that's fine. That's how they make their living. And they got on the influencer train early, which is cool for them. Um, but you guys, they're really good at selling. And every time you click on their link and buy something, they get a kickback. And I'm not saying don't don't do that. Like I have some influencers that I really, really like and I've gone back and I've used their codes or, you know, I've used their links or whatever, because that's a cool way to support them. But if it feels slimy and you're just really, really pressured to buy from them frequently more than you should, it's okay to unfollow them. You can get stronger and then you can follow them later in life. They'll still be there. I can promise you. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. If you found this video to be useful, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. You can also hit that little bell to get a notification. I try to upload every Monday and Thursday. It doesn't always happen, but I try to. Okay, so what I wanna hear from you guys down in the comments below are what tips you have. Small tips, we're looking for small things, okay? Or, which of these tips that I talked about are you going to utilize this year? Okay, I think that's it. Whew, it's hot. Anybody else hot? It's hot. Okay. Let's go into 2024. Budget Girl era. We got this.
talk to you guys next time.